How to talk to your children about sex. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Sexual curiosity affects everyone. Right now, we are in a time where kids are unsure about themselves. It's a time for, you know, sexual curiosity, exploration. You know, they're learning their bodies. They're figuring out who they are, who they want to be. Uh, and what their place is in the world. It is important to talk to your kids early about sex because they are having sex even earlier. Um, you know, with social media and TikTok and Snapchat and, and peer pressure. Um, some children may be exposed to sex a lot earlier than others. And you definitely don't want the first time, you know, that they hear about sex to be from their friends or a teacher. Now, let's think about this. Remember back in the day when they had sexual education and, you know, you had to get a permission slip to actually take the class. Many parents declined this class because they felt uncomfortable. Why would someone else, maybe a total stranger to them, be talking to their kid about sex? They wanted to be the first ones to talk to their kids about the birds and the bees now to me i feel like the birds and the bees conversation can be a little confusing the birds the bees and then the bees and the birds and all that kind of stuff right so let's you know get away from the sugar coating things it's the same thing when you know parents tell their kids to call their private parts a different name or give it a nickname and things like that Tell them the right names because if they're in danger, you don't want them telling somebody, please don't touch my juju or don't touch my thang thang and all that kind of stuff. So you just want to be um, very transparent with them. There are many kids out here right now who do not know what sex is. Yes, they know that the idea of, you know, how maybe how babies are created, but just what goes into it, that it should be sacred as a virginity. You really don't hear a lot of people saying save your virginity anymore or saving it for marriage. People are just exploring, you know, they filling it out. I like him. I like her or I like, you know, them. And I want to uh, be one with them. And they may not even understand that ideology of being one. So it should first and foremost be a family conversation. All your children parents included have this conversation with them let them know some of your experiences because the, you know when you share your experience and i don't mean like vulgar experiences i'm saying things that you may have learned from um men and women you know things that may make them targets and things to watch out for because you want to make sure that they are prepared also you may want to, you know, show them condoms. If they're of age, you want to do that. You know, you may want to get some pamphlets from Pam Parenthood and, you know, guide them. Let them know that they could come and talk to you because at times, I think people handle the sex conversation the wrong way. Usually, the kid is starting to have sex. They do it on their own. They didn't come to you. I know it could be a little awkward because your parent is saying don't do that but be it it may the kid is having sex already so somehow you find out you may be snooping through their room you may be snooping through their phone you may be snooping through their social media or you see something that may be triggering them so now with that being said you come at them i know you're not having sex you're going you know you're going to planned parenthood or you're going somewhere and you're pissed off you're coming at them wrong. Talk to them. Listen, I want you to be able to come to me. I have an open door policy. I want to let you know that I support you in your decisions. And I want you to be informed so that you do not get STDs and have them lingering because you didn't want to come to me. I know it may be weird at times to, you know, for your kids to want to talk to you about sex. And it can be uncomfortable for you as well um, because you think they're not ready. You know, you're like, hey, I want you to grow up too fast. I want you to still be my baby. And don't worry, they will be your baby as long as they're alive. But, you know, you want to make sure that you are um, open. You're displaying open behavior. Shouting, 
it's not good at all. You know, you want to make sure you just leave the, the door open. Uh, let them know that you support them. And their lifestyle changes as well. There are a lot of lifestyle changes going on. People are exploring themselves. They're going through puberty. Their bodies are changing. So even the body shaming. Uh, we definitely have to get out of like calling people fat, too skinny. Uh, you know, you trying to figure out who you are. Maybe it's acne. A lot of things are changing. Uh, young ladies are getting periods. Let them know. And the importance of this conversation is also to put them on alert that if they are in danger, somebody's trying to molest them, you know, um, they can verbalize that I am uncomfortable, like sitting on people's laps, forcing them to hug people, strangers or hugging, hugging family members. Don't, they don't have to do that. They can respectfully speak, but to make them do things that they're uncomfortable, they may not feel comfortable to let you know that, you know, I don't feel comfortable hugging uncle so-and-so or when their bodies change and now they're getting, you know, eyeballed at Christmas time and all that kind of stuff. So just be aware of those things. Pay attention, especially to your sons and your daughters, because both parties get abused. You also want to let them know um, outside of that to just be aware of their surroundings you know when they go to parties and they uncomfortable it's okay to be uncomfortable if you you know you like somebody it's okay to like somebody but when you put yourself in that one-on-one -on -one environment when there's no friends around um be careful because things escalate quite frank like quite fast you know you may find yourself where you went from touching kissing now they on top of you or you on top of them vice versa and in the midst of it all, you know, you're saying no. And the person's like, oh, that may be something that um, you're not serious about. No, you're serious and you want them to get off of you. So don't be afraid to let somebody know you're uncomfortable. Um, make sure that you have some people that you can talk to, whether that be a teacher, that could be a friend um, or an adult, a responsible and ad adult to talk to that you can, you know, you feel comfortable talking to and letting them in. I hope you found this video helpful and be careful, be safe, be responsible. Um, kids, make sure you keep the lines of communication open with your parents. Let them know where you are. There are too many children going missing and that is because, you know, it may not be cool to want to talk to your parent, but don't get into that. Because once you don't let them know where you are, you know, your cell phone may die. Um, they don't want to have to have to bury you or something even, you know, worse. So thank you for watching.